Hello and welcome to another video. We're going to be talking about uh, writing to a file and also we're going to uh, do another program <coughs> Excuse me. in how to read the data from the file itself. Uh, before we do anything, we need to notice that we included another header file. It's called uh, standard uh, library.h and do be, don't be warned by this word void, meaning we're not passing anything to the main function. As long as you can take it out, it's not going to affect anything. When we start the main function, this is extremely important for you to notice now that I have a, a reserved word with capital letters called file, which is a data type that is allowing me to create. Uh, this is a variable name, basically, an FB, but it's preceded by the asterisks in order to indicate. This is a pointer uh, to a file. The name of the pointer is SP. So the asterisk, which we're only going to be seeing it the first time when we declare the pointer, after that we're going to refer to the address of that file in the memory. Obviously, I'm going to be needing some sort of a loop, so I'm declaring a counter for it by the name I. Also, I'm going to be doing some counting and I'm initializing CT to zero. So, and the very first thing we need to know uh, how to actually create the file uh, or open the file, uh, rather I want to reserve the word to create for later. Uh, so, if you notice this is an assignment statement, it's going to be evaluated from right first. There is a function it's called if open. It's going to allow me to open a file in different access mode. Uh, the name of the file is wfile.txt. And the mode that I'm trying to open it, w, which is write. So I'm going to write to it. Uh, you might assume if this file doesn't exist, what will happen? Actually, if open function is going to create it. If it does exist, it's going to overwrite it. So we need to be careful not to write to a file. Then if we wanted to keep the contents of an existing file, we need to append it to that data, to that file, append the data to the file that we're going to read to it. And the result of the open function will be assigned to the pointer, which is that we create here which is really the address in the memory to where the program is going to be able to locate that file, which is in this case is going to be called wfile.txt. There's another test we like to do in order to make sure with this statement that we did here, if this file was a created indeed, so if it does, it create, if it was a created, we're going to ignore this portion of the code if it was not created, of course, we cannot do too much about any uh, about the, the program, so we must really exit the program. So I'm saying here, if fp, which is the pointer or the address of that file now in this case, is equal to null, which means it did not exist as a result, then we're going to print, uh, I could not open uh, the name of the file, in this case I have to really Keep it as whatever I decided to call it there. File.txt for writing and of course exit zero. It will indicate the termination that the file the program is going to be terminated and we're out of it. However, if this is did not get to be executed, then we're going to be moving to the next statement, which is in this case is a loop. A loop that will be executed a thousand times, as we probably know what a loop at this stage uh, is assigned to one. As long as I have less than or equal to 1000, uh, I plus, uh, plus plus I or I plus plus, it doesn't matter. So, just to simplify it, we do what we could really play with it when you run it. I'm saying here if I, which is going to be one uh, through a thousand, uh, modulus 15 is equal to zero, that's mean the value of any value of i, if it's uh, divisible by 15, that's really basically what the statement, if the modulus of 15 is 0, that's divisible by 15, 
go ahead and write that value to that file. Now, for the first time, you're going to be seeing that if printf, meaning print that value, instead of writing it to the console or to the monitor like we have been doing, we are writing it now to a file. Of course, the file is an additional piece added to the formatting strings, which is the whole thing is called the formatting strings, is to tell it where to write it to. So I'm going to write it to the file and do the pointer at B. And of course, the rest of it is typical, just like any printf that we have written before. Uh, I'm reserving the three position for an integer value. It's divisible by 15. So, of course, the first value is going to be 15 divisible by 15, then 30, then uh, uh, 45. Maybe we could actually make it even five position instead of three position. Okay. So. Uh, of course, we are counting the number of those items that are divisible by 15, so I'm adding 1 to the CP as the counter that I declared on the top. So when the loop finishes, it's going to write all these values that are divisible to 15, and after that, also to prove to you that we could actually do, uh, what we need to do is basically to write, here is the spell word, divisible, uh, I'm writing the counter that I did obtain from adding one to every time the uh, condition with that statement was true. So there was, uh, I guess it was 67 or 66 numbers, number divisible by 15, which is the CP. However, notice that I'm writing it through the file pointers or the address of the file. Of course, I'm using the different functions. And now I'm ready to close the file. Since I wrote all this data to it, I'm using another function it's called if close, just like we use the function if open to uh, create the file. So I need to close it as well. The return zero to tell uh, uh, the program to okay, go ahead and surrender yourself to Unix or any operating system in this case, and close the program. So we could go ahead and continue, since really they're short, hopefully they don't exceed 10 minutes. Uh, exactly the same thing for reading from the file. The file, uh, in this case, has to exist in order to read it. <clears throat> but now, uh, if we go into the main function, I'm declaring a char, a ch is a char, and I'm declaring a file name that I'm going to supply to the uh, if open function so it will open it for me. The file name should not exceed 25 character here. If you have like more than 25 character, you should be really increasing the number of uh, 25, maybe 200. Uh, exactly the same thing we did with the writing. We declared a pointer to a file. Um, declaring a, a counter, you will see why the counter uh, just, uh, we will be using it somehow. And at the very beginning, just like in the, I'm not doing anything with F printf, I'm actually using the printf typical console one, meaning the monitor one, enter the name of the file you wish to see. And look here, I'm using a scanf uh, to read a string or array of characters. And let's assume that we wanted to call it uh, andy.txt. So andy.txt that has some uh, text in it. Uh, it's going to be read as a string. So now andy.txt is going to be the name of the file. And look here in the second statement, say open through the if open file, andy.txt in the access mode of reading. So I'm saying here R for reading, read mode, and give that to the if P, the pointer. And similar to the previous. Uh, but with a little bit uh, different syntax here. If the FP uh, address is not uh, created as null, then we're going to use the PE error, which is an error function. Then we're going to actually exit as a failure instead of saying into zero, which is going to result in the same thing. Now, also I'm saying here print F, which is going to be to the monitor because I'm reading it to the monitor. The contents of the file, which is Andy text txt uh, that's the name of the file and I'm going through a loop 
uh, I'm using a function that is specifically to handle the reading from a file and I'm saying if git c that's mean git at the character it threw of course the pointer of the file but remember the f here to get that uh, file read file I get one single character it threw the pointer which is really now it's an address more than a pointer and hand each character to ch all right as long as this character is not a special character it's called eof which is the end of the file the last character in the file as long as every character that you're reading not actually the end of that file we're going to go ahead and print that to the monitor we're going to print that to the monitor obviously I could have used CT here by saying CT uh, plus plus in order to show me how many characters I read. After the loop, I will say here print F. Uh, there was uh, this much. There was let's say here five D just to give it could be very large number number of characters. Yeah, chart characters in the file or in whatever the name of the file in let's say here because I'm gonna name different file every time I read it. Uh, uh, chart and uh, then it's gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say here CT and of course the file name. This file that I read now is going to be called uh, Andy.txt but you could read anything in the future. So and also now I'm going to go ahead and say if close I close the FB which is the uh, address or kill the pointer in that case and you know, return zero in order to surrender back to the operating system and close everything and this should really give you a quick explanation to uh, how to write to a file and how to read from a file if you wish to go ahead and uh, you know take your time uh, and uh, and write those in order to experience with them that would be the best thing for you to do for yourself Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed those too. Uh, I guess it, it did exceed 10 minutes. I'm sorry about that. I don't like long video, but imagine they are two six minute videos, so combined together. Thank you very much.